Is your dog on chemotherapy? This is Lucia. She's on a long-term chemotherapy. The last four years, she's been taking chemo for an autoimmune disorder that's very rare, and she will continue to be on this chemotherapy, well, forever. If your dog is on chemo, whether it's short-term or long-term, one of the keys to keeping them healthy is to make sure that their liver, their kidneys, and all of their internal organs are protected from the negative side effects of chemo. Right now, obviously chemo saves lives in a lot of cases, but long-term exposure can pose some real serious health risks, especially to the kidneys and the liver. That's why for Lucia and her autoimmune disorder, or for other dogs I've had that had cancer or other reasons to be on chemo, we give them specific supplements to treat the specific problem. Which ones are they? Let's tell everyone, ready? Now, these aren't miracle cures, nor are they medications. They're just supplements and they're there to help optimize liver health and protect liver function. You always wanna work with your vet, getting them blood tests as often as your vet suggests to check for liver enzyme elevations like these. We wanna keep those nice and stable, especially if your dog has to be on chemotherapy for the long haul. First science back combo we're gonna use and we have used with great success with Lucia is SAMI. SAMI boosts glutathione, the liver's master antioxidant. And both humans and veterinary studies shows that it helps protect the liver from toxins and the negative side effects as chemotherapy. This combination is often sold as denomerin, which is a combination of SAMI and the next supplement we're gonna use, but since this is very difficult to get here, we go with an alternative path. And the alternative path for us is we combine SAMI with a milk thistle phospho complex. That's a fancy way for saying extract from milk thistle, but it's in a special form for better absorption. Now, it stabilizes liver cell membranes, it reduces oxidative stress, which is super important when dealing with chemotherapy. I use something called Nutrafor HEPA. We don't make any money from this, but this is with the same phospho complex, but it also has choline, artichoke extract, and dandelion for a little bit of extra support. These are the two main supplements that Lucia takes to help keep her liver steady. And some of the other dogs like Genghis, who was on chemotherapy for cancer, her numbers were fantastic. Why? Because the SAMI and the milk thistle phospho complex work together to be protective of the cell membranes, to be protective of the liver, to help regenerate the organ, and obviously to support it. But not all we do, right? What else do we do? Of course, the old standard, omega-3 fatty acids, specifically a high EPA DHA combination. Studies show that really high quality EPA DHA omega-3 fatty acids can reduce the negative side effects of chemotherapy, reduce their inflammation, and protect their liver. What's next? This isn't so much a supplement because it is a food, although you can get it in supplement form, and that is probiotics. Now, we use probiotic foods in order to boost gut health because gut health once that goes, especially if your dog is fighting any other illness, it is gonna cause a disastrous chain of events. So the stronger their gut health remains, the longer they'll live usually. Now, of course you can use probiotics in pill form or capsule form, but the reality is it's much easier to just use a couple tablespoons of Greek yogurt, beer, raw goat's milk, any sort of probiotic food that can help populate their gut with the healthy bacteria that they need. You wanna add to this a little bit of prebiotic foods like soaked chia seeds, broccoli, green vegetables, red cabbage, like everybody's eating right now. And this should help support your dog's liver health. Now, obviously supplements are not medication, you need to talk to your vet about this because there may be meds that they need to be on. And if your dog is on medication for their liver, make sure that there's no conflicts between the supplements and the meds. And it's really important to follow a diet that helps support their liver health as well. If you look in the first comment, there's a link for a free guide on a liver health diet. Just some tips to help you get started to keep your dog healthy, safe, hello, and living longer, right? Everybody should do that. Are we really going to send it to them? Of course we're going to send it to them. I find your lack of faith disturbing.